Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about compatibility of signs. In astrology, there are totally 12 signs. And out of those 12 signs, each signs are friends with some and enemies to some signs. And to know compatibility of each sign is important for matchmaking. You will know whether you will be compatible, comfortable with some people. Not just the spouse, but also friends, business partners, relatives, your family, your son, your daughter and all. You can test it among people you know and you will realize that the closest people in your life are the zodiac signs which are compatible with your sign. You just click with some people mainly because your planets match with them. So today we will start with Aries as it is the first sign and let's look at the compatibility of Aries with all other signs. The basic rule of compatibility is that you are always compatible with your own sign. So Aries folks are compatible with their own sign that's Aries. Now apart from their own sign they are compatible with both from your sign 7th and 10th because 1, 4, 7 and 10 are known as the Kendra houses or in English it is called as the quadrant houses which are also called as pillars in astrology and are most important houses. So keep in mind 1, 4, 7 and 10 from your sign are best compatible signs with Aries. So your Aries moon people Aries, Cancer, Libra and Capricorn moons are the most compatible. Now who is the most closest and most compatible out of these candles? For that you need to check the Lordship of each sign. So as Aries and Aries both are both come under the Lordship of Mars so that becomes the best match and then we can see Cancer which is ruled by Moon being a friend of Mars Cancer is the most compatible sign for Aries apart from your own zodiac sign of course since Libra is owned by Venus and Capricorn is owned by Saturn they become compatible but not 100% but maybe 60% or maybe 70% compatible now we will see the worst compatible signs for Aries folks so rule is 2nd, 6th, 8th and 12th from your signs are worse for you since these houses are trouble making houses like the 2nd house is considered as a maraka 6th is considered as the house of enemies and obstacles 8th is the house of accidents and 12th is the house of loss so for Aries 2nd is Taurus, 6th is Virgo, 8th is Scorpio and 12th is Pisces these are not at all compatible though here there are two exceptions one is Scorpio since it is ruled by Mars and Pisces is ruled by Jupiter who is a friend of Mars so the effect is down to 50% remaining are the worst enemies now the rest 3rd, 5th, 9th and 11th house houses are generally neutral because uh, like they are not the best friends nor the worst enemies but yeah the friendship and enemy thing depends on the sign lord of the remaining four houses so like uh, the third is Gemini which is ruled by Mercury fifth is Leo which is ruled by Sun so Mercury is enemy of the Mars but uh, Sun is a friend of Mars so Leo is compatible but Gemini is Gemini or Gemini is enemy and 9th is Sagittarius which is Jupiter which is compatible to Mars but 11th is Saturn Aquarius sign so Saturn is an enemy to Mars so it is not compatible so you can test like this way and uh, yeah this was compatibility of Aries with all other signs I have tested it on moon signs and it has worked for me always all the time you can try it with the sun signs too and let me know your observation in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and do comment. I will reply to all the comments possible. I would love to interact with you guys and know your observations regarding this. So thank you.